Snakes, they're found on every continent in the world except Antarctica. Not only that, they've been around for approximately 100 million years and evolved from prehistoric lizards, so they're pretty skilled at survival. But every now and then, another creature comes along that can give these ancient reptiles a run for their money. There are some animals out there who aren't remotely bothered by these slithering serpents. And as you're about to see, they aren't afraid to fight. 15 times, snakes messed with the wrong opponent. Snakes messing with the wrong chicken You might think that chickens might cower in the presence of a vicious, venomous snake, but we're about to show you how brave and determined mama chickens can be. Not only do snakes love to eat chickens, they love the chicks and unhatched eggs even more. And these chicken moms will even take on more than one serpent, if they have to. For example, this mother hen fought a fierce battle with a cobra to save her chicks. The cobra slithered inside the enclosure as the hen made a brave attempt to block its path. The hen continued pecking the cobra until her chicks moved out of the enclosure safely. In another clip, a mother hen who is not willing to give up her eggs is caught on camera defending them from a big rat snake that crawled into her chicken coop. The owner found the snake laying in the nest, but the hen, who was known to be the best mother hen in the coop, was not having it one bit. The concerned mama made sure that the snake wasn't getting any of her eggs. Even large snakes can squeeze through the tiniest gaps if given the chance, so make sure you have a sturdy, secure chicken coop and never underestimate the power of a mother's love. Fasten your seatbelts because it's time for today's sweet topic. Egyptian, Buddhist, and North American imagery historically links cats and snakes. Both animals have long been tied up in superstitions. Since the Middle Ages, black cats and snakes were thought to be the animal form witches would take and therefore linked to the devil. Unfortunately, seeing black cats and snakes as bad luck omens persists even to this day. So who would win in an epic cat vs snake battle? Place your bets. The truth is that cats, curious by nature, are going to want to investigate these creatures. It's very common for a cat to attack a snake and they have a high tolerance to snake venom. However, most cats will only attack snakes but not eat them. They see snakes as enemies and snakes see cats as enemies, so it's likely they'll avoid each other. Believe it or not, cats are actually imitating snakes when they hiss. Just like snakes, cats hiss to sound intimidating and to try to scare away whatever's threatening them. This cat is even on its hind legs to try to intimidate this snake. Hopefully it works. This is a cobra after all, and its venom can easily kill a human. So what do you do in this situation? You stand back. This is one face-off you don't want to be in the middle of. Share your thoughts on the battle royale in the comments with the hashtag sweet topic. Honey Badger vs Mole Snake The mole snake is a muscular, day-active snake and is widespread throughout most of southern Africa. This snake is not venomous but does have pin-sharp teeth and is capable of quite serious bites. They have strong teeth with an edge on the back of each tooth like the blade of a knife and when they bite, watch out. But honey badgers don't care. Even when faced with a mole snake, one of the deadliest snakes on earth, the honey badger attacks and gets bitten in the process. But the bites don't land. The mole snake tries to escape but the honey badger has other plans. Once the snake's jaws are immobilized, the badger digs in. Nothing like a mole snake meal for this brave badger. In the end, the honey badger's most notable trait is its fearlessness, also helped along by the creature's unique skin. The honey badger's loose flesh makes it tough to get a grip on them. Plus, it's incredibly thick, and scientists figured out for the first time that honey badger blood is resistant on the molecular level. The blood also revealed clues of an evolutionary arms race, and it might help us design better anti-venoms for humans bitten by venomous snakes. Prairie Dog Fights Off Snake Prairie dogs of the Great Plains of North America are really smart and quite well organized. They would have to be when you're facing a predator like a rattlesnake. However, those rodents can detect predators from far away and when they do, they're not shy about letting other prairie dogs know. Prairie dogs bark out distinct calls to identify different predators. So when this rodent had to drive the rattlesnake away from his pups, he warns the colony and risks its life to drive the deadly snake away from its den. It might take just a little extra nudging and convincing, but the snake eventually gives up. But not before the whole prairie hears about it. 
The alarm system among prairie dogs is quite sophisticated and varies according to the type of predator announced. If the alarm indicates a hawk, all the prairie dogs in its flight path dive into their holes, while those outside the flight path stand and watch. For coyotes, the prairie dogs move to the entrance of a burrow and stand outside the entrance, observing the coyote. But this rodent manages on its own. Thanks to the daddy's bravery, the pups are safe again, but it helps when you have strength in numbers. <laughs> Snake-eating spiders A group of researchers were wandering in the hills of Brazil when they stumbled upon this, a tarantula devouring a ground snake, a total first caught on camera. Perhaps both the snake and the spider were equally surprised, but the fight would have ended quickly. One bite from the tarantula, with its inch-long fangs and venom that can liquefy the snake's insides, and the show's over. Or perhaps it had just begun. Watching a spider consume a snake, although it might be kind of gross, certainly got the researchers' attention. The snake meal is of particular interest to scientists since serpents are an unusual dinner choice for a tarantula. So how did this happen? It's likely the tarantula was just passing by the snake den and thought the hole would be a perfect home for itself. Tarantulas tend to prefer a cozy hole like this to make a home. The snake was probably waiting there when the confrontation began. The grassy, rocky hills near the Federal Conservation in southern Brazil are perfect for conducting field work on tarantula diversity. And wow, they found just that. The snake is an almond ground snake measuring 15 inches long, quite a meal for the hand-sized tarantula. Typically, these spiders eat smaller prey, including other spiders, insects, and smaller reptiles, amphibians, birds, or even mammals. <laughs> Lions take on spitting cobra. Have you seen a spitting snake fighting with a lion? The snakes are venomous and their bite can affect any animal no matter how large it is. And these snakes can spit their venom and usually aim for the eyes. And these lions are a prime target. Not only are they getting dangerously close, but seem kind of curious about the spitting snake. The cobra, however, appears to be quite annoyed. It usually preys on other snakes and occasionally preys on other animals such as lizards and rodents. It's highly dangerous and has a fearsome reputation if provoked. Known to protect and attack intruders rapidly and aggressively. The spat venom is generally harmless on the surface of a mammal's skin, but can cause permanent blindness. Some species make hissing sounds and lunging movements of their heads when spitting from the tongue, and they can launch their venom as far as 6.6 .6 feet. While spitting typically is their primary form of defense, all spitting cobras also can deliver venom by biting. So these lions are definitely vulnerable. But will curiosity kill these big cats? Maybe not, but blindness is almost guaranteed if the spitting cobra gets their way. The Everglade Alligator Battle Florida's Everglades is a natural region of tropical wetlands, an ecosystem unlike anywhere else on Earth. But now it's a battleground between Burmese pythons and alligators. Unlike alligators, pythons are not a native species to Florida. They started showing up when pet owners were releasing them in the wild when they became too big to manage and they quickly populated the region. This coincided with a more than 90% reduction in raccoons, opossums, and rabbits, a food source for both gators and snakes. Now, pythons and alligators are natural enemies in both vigorously defending the Everglades they love. They battle it out on the golf course in ponds and in the bush. It's a battle royale between the two. Able to grow to more than 20 feet in length, the pythons ambush their prey, squeeze until the prey stops breathing, and then splits their jaw apart to take the prey whole. But the alligators are equally intimidating. A typical scenario might have a python trapping and consuming a gator, only to have the gator bite his way free and they both die. Or the reptile prevails and manages to drown the python before chowing down. The pythons have to go. As for the gators, they can stay. Although they're apex predators, they belong in Florida's Everglades. <laughs> Snake hunting secretary birds. This sub-Saharan bird, growing up to four feet tall, is native to Africa. But unlike most birds of prey, the secretary bird hunts on foot. Its success as a hunter is a direct result of the mighty blows they deliver with their powerful legs and talons, up to five times their own body weight and strength. And most prey, like lizards or rodents, are taken out quickly. A secretary bird's blow can shatter bones. Even venomous snakes are no match. Its method is distinct from other raptors. 
They typically use their beak to kill after catching their prey with their talons. When researchers tested out one of these tall birds' kicks out with a fake snake acting as prey packed with sensors, the results were staggering. The contact time between the bird's feet and the snake was measured at just 15 milliseconds, a tenth of the time it takes to blink an eye. And since venomous snakes are a staple in the bird's diet, the speed and efficiency that they land a fatal blow with to the snake's skull is vital to their survival. The consequences of a missed strike can be deadly, so the kicking strikes require speed and accuracy, enough to sufficiently stun and kill prey. This bird's got legs, and they know how to use them. Snakes eating themselves Snakes who eat other snakes, like king snakes and rat snakes, will confuse their own tail for another snake and will end up eating itself. Most snakes use heat sense to find their prey, so their own tail is unlikely to capture their attention. But a few snakes also do caldo luring, which is a fast tail wagging to attract prey. Unfortunately, snakes are more reactive than proactive, so the tail wagging could catch their eye and make them think, well, that's prey. Odor from prey on its body, especially with constricting snakes, could also cause the confusion. However, while snakes do try to eat themselves from time to time, it does not seem to be intentional. These episodes can be fatal. Because snakes have evolved to trap food and guide it in, it can be difficult for them to let go once they have started eating. Snakes may also attack themselves if they're shedding and have diminished eyesight, mistaking their tail for prey. Easy enough mistake, right? But if you own a snake, watch out. When a snake begins to self-cannibalize, reduce the heat by turning off heat lamps and spritzing the snake with cool water. This can help alleviate the stress and the snake may let go. Maybe call the vet just to be on the safe side. <laughs> Kangaroo Rat Kicks Back Rattlesnakes are ambush predators. Avoiding the venomous bites of a rattlesnake at night requires next-level speed and accuracy. Thankfully, these little rodents have both. In spades, meet the kangaroo rat. The rat's secret is their lightning speed, acrobatic talents, and their kung fu level kicks. It's capable of speedy reaction times, strong near vertical leaps, and mid-air kicks. Kangaroo rats not only have a record-breaking reaction time, but can also use their long tails to reorient their bodies while jumping. The rats reposition themselves for both defensive kicking and landing on their feet, ninja style. Kangaroo rats also have incredible hearing. They can hear the low-frequency sounds produced by the sudden movements of approaching prey. Instinct takes over. And one kick is all it takes. Kangaroo rats make vertical leaps and bound away in any direction they need to flee safely. Filming snake kangaroo rat interactions with high-speed video cameras, then slowing the footage down, allows researchers to make a deep dive into the rodent's technique. Both sidewinder rattlesnakes and desert kangaroo rats are nocturnal residents of the deserts of the southwestern United States and Mexico. Black Mamba Battle Mambas can kill a human in just 20 minutes with a single bite, and these snakes don't make exceptions for golf enthusiasts. This hole, however, should probably be avoided. Four pals were playing around at a South African golf course when they encountered this lethal hazard. The Black Mamba is the world's fastest land snake, the world's second longest species of venomous snake, and one of the world's deadliest snakes. The golfers played three holes without any problems, but when they came to the fourth, they found these two mambas locked in battle, and certainly in no mood to tolerate humans getting in the way. In what is known as plating combat, the mambas were not going to sort this situation any other way. However, it's rare for snakes to fight, and the reptiles are generally not territorial. Outside of the breeding season, encounters between snakes don't usually result in a fight, and they usually don't bite or injure each other during these quarrels. It's more of a wrestling match. The snakes are trying to assert dominance, and just after the golfing group moved on, the snakes separated and slowly made their way back to the bush. Snake Eagles They're smaller than bald eagles, and they live mainly in Africa. The snake eagle may conjure up in our minds some kind of animal hybrid from a sci-fi movie. But snake eagles are for real, and they love snakes. This species is an almost obligate predator of a variety of snakes. Hunting is typically from a tree perch or hillock and takes place almost exclusively on the ground. When the eagle spots a snake, it swoops down suddenly, grabbing its prey with its powerful talons. Then it immediately flies upward as the snake tries to fight back. Then the eagle crushes or tears off the snake's head and swallows it head first. Snake eagle legs and toes are covered in thick scales, essential to protect from bites, and bites are a serious real risk that take on some of the fastest and deadliest snakes in the world. 
but not every meal is a battle with a deadly snake. Snake eagles may also hunt lizards, rodents, and even bats or fish. They dwell in open woods and wooded savanna, most often preferring areas where gully or wooded hillocks break open flat areas. This makes it much easier to see the snakes they love to feast on. Old Guy Kicks Deadly Snake This is a very scary and real moment when an Australian gentleman crosses paths with one of the world's deadliest snakes, an eastern brown snake, and casually kicks it out of the way on a beachside walk like it's no big deal. The clip captures an Aussie gent, whose identity is unknown, strolling along a picnic area believed to be Queensland, Australia. But when the strident senior came across the serpent lying on the grass beside the concrete footpath, he boots the coiled reptile. The enraged snake rears up to strike back, and within seconds the man kicks it again, causing it to flip back in the air. It appears the man looked satisfied with his victory and he continues to just walk off, while the defeated snake is seen slithering further away into the grass and away from the footpath. The eastern brown is considered the second most venomous snake in the world, surpassed only by the inland taipan. In comparison to some other snake species such as cobras and vipers, they have very short fangs. They inject only a very small amount of venom, but this is more than enough to kill a human. That didn't seem to matter to this brave person. Nothing, not even a deadly snake, was going to ruin his day. The Bravest Iguanas This iguana sits on the beach on Fernandina Island, a volcanic island off the coast of Ecuador, minding its own business, when a racer snake sneaks up behind. The iguana instinctively stays still at first, hoping to go unnoticed. It has to make its way to the sea. They venture into the ocean and dive for sea algae and seaweed. That said, some of the lizard's vulnerable hatchlings, who emerge from eggs buried in the sand, are easy prey for these snakes. And not only does it have to outrun one of these racers, it must pass an army of racer snakes to do so. The iguana starts running and the chase is on. The serpents start slithering out from the rocks to join in and it looks like the poor baby iguana is in for it. It even gets caught up in a bunch of tangled snakes, but somehow the reptile gets free and scurries up the rocks. It makes one more dramatic slow motion leap for freedom as a snake lunges with its mouth open. But it's an epic victory for the iguana. The snakes just couldn't get a grip on the amazing lizard. Thankfully for the human crew filming the saga, the snakes of Fernandina Island had no interest in people, just iguanas. And this is one of the most famous chase scenes ever recorded. Insane Praying Mantis This is an undeniably impressive insect. The praying mantis gets its name for the way their front legs are bent in a praying motion. Mantises were considered to have supernatural powers by early civilizations, including ancient Greece and ancient Egypt. Popular in cartoons where the artists imagine the female mantis as a femme fatale. The fatale part is right. The majority of mantises are ambush predators that only feed upon live prey within their reach. They can blend in with leaves and foliage which enables them to patiently stalk insects like flies and grasshoppers, and even snakes. They remain stationary, waiting for prey to approach or stalk their prey with slow, stealthy movements. Once within reach, mantises strike rapidly to grasp the prey with their spiked reptorial forelegs. Mantises have two spiked, grasping forelegs in which snakes are caught and held securely, and the eating commences. The fearsome predators are capable of killing prey three times its size and snakes provide a lot of sustenance for the insect. Striking twice as fast as a blink of an eye, praying mantises will slowly devour the unfortunate prey slowly with its ultra-sharp mandibles. The Mongoose and the Cobra Mongooses are quick and agile, as you can see, and have strong jaws and thick hides. They're all, however, long-bodied, short-eared, weasley-looking animals some of which attack and eat snakes, and not just any snakes. They also don't mind messing with a cobra in spite of its size and extravagantly toxic venom, which can kill a human in 30 minutes. In fact, they're notorious snake killers. From a black mamba to the even deadlier cape cobra, mongoose are fearless. How can it be that a skinny mongoose can take on a king cobra? You'd be surprised how tough these furry creatures are, inside and out. They've evolved a resistance to snake venom, allowing them to keep fighting even after receiving a bite that would kill most animals. They're not immune to the venom, but thanks to special mutations in their nervous system, the neurotoxin has difficulty binding to their receptors, rendering it less effective. It's not impossible for a mongoose to get sick or even die from a snake bite, but mongooses make a glycoprotein that binds to the protein in the venom so a moderate amount of snake venom won't phase them much. 
The mongoose have their own antidote to the cobra's deadly poison, 